more solo, right? I remember the first time I saw this on YouTube, my jaw literally just dropped. And I'll admit, I was uh, also a little frustrated because here I was watching this nine-year-old, you know, play this incredible improvisation with fantastic feel, no choice, timing. But I was also really taken away with the way he captured the vocal quality of the original song with his playing. So rather than getting frustrated, I thought, okay, you know, I can learn from this. So I decided to deconstruct a solo, which was actually surprisingly um, straightforward. I did that using what I call the blues block, which is a simple repeating, you know, pattern down the fretboard that helps you connect to the underlying chords or construct or deconstruct a solo. And I did this actually for the students of my Blues Block course. Now, if you're interested in something like that, I'll leave a link in the description below. But I thought this would be an amazing masterclass actually for anybody who's learning lead guitar, blues or rock um, to actually learn from this, which is why I put it together. Now, I was realizing it's, I don't know, about three years, maybe more, um, since this video was released with over 10 million views, yet nobody's really broken it down. And so I thought, okay, what I'll do is I'll take what I did for my course and just share it. I'm just going to rejig the bits of video to put together um, to hopefully let anybody have a go at this. I've done it very slow, very close up. As a result, this being a five minute solo, I've decided I'm going to chunk all of the pieces, maybe about um, you know four to eight bars, depending on the part of the solo, just so that this video doesn't become ridiculously long. The other good thing about this is it gives me the opportunity to, uh, to make some tags to Taj Ferrand's original video because I found it was uh, it was really interesting actually when I try to play something incredibly slowly, um, I really tried to obviously get the right notes, but also keep the the feel for the timing. But one thing that I just dropped was the um, the dynamics, and I thought, well, if you get, look at the original. You know, you look at Taj's, you learn from the master, okay? Use his dynamics, or as I tell my students, put your own feel on it as well. That's uh, totally fine. But uh, just letting you know, mine is kind of note for note and slow, but the dynamics are waiting for you to put in. Anyway, good luck with this. Please let me know how you get on in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notifications because you don't want to miss the upcoming sections that cover the rest of the, the solo. Okay, let's get right into this. Thank you. 